close. It was almost a perfect shot from the Spaniard. And a lot of spin on it too. This is Nadal is challenging the call on the right far sideline. I think initially as far as Nadal was concerned, it felt good. He was ready to crank up the lawnmower, I think. Had the call not come. Yeah, caught a piece of the line. Shot making, for skidding off the line. 40-30. Inch perfect from Blake. And it has to be that good when you're playing. I think he's a little bit upset at losing that second set. That's big. That is huge. Flat. Not too much spin on it. Oh, what a return. Fantastic timing. And it wasn't a bad serve because this one is swinging into the right hip. Blake just plays right against the spin, short backswing, that's the key. That's why he's such a good returner. It's a very simple shot. the spin of the ball down the line. 15. He's so strong in the wrist, plants the left foot, good balance. That's the kind of shot. Better to be lucky than good, and I'll tell you what, you don't care how you win these points. Break point down, and the lead cord over the volley. Break point. with the serve now. 15-30. He's starting to go a little too frequently to the Nadal backhand and Nadal's starting to punish him. Five return. It's more like it. Juice. Good body first serve. Measures this four and nicely does Blake. The weight is always going forward. deep behind his own baseline but he still managed to get the ball dipping lower than the height of the net advantage Nadal and again we saw that Blake doesn't have the necessary feel sometimes in the forecourt to really get the job done against the very best players in the world and that allowed Nadal to get set up for the second four On this serve again, only 102 miles an hour. And it's the slower serve that's caused more headaches for Blake than the big one. Oh. Oh. I think he's lost his way mentally in this third set, Blake. Love 30. No doubt that he started to get a little down on himself. And of course. When Nadal was under the cosh, at the beginning of the second set, his response was a positive one. Uh. 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 Turn that a little bit. Uh. Seven 
a match for Nadal. A big win for Nadal because he knows he has a poor record against Blake. But that's two victories in a row now in back-to-back -back ATP Masters Series events. So his confidence is rising rapidly. And the response to the loss of the opening set was magnificent. And by the end of the match, he was playing some terrific tennis. So you have to say that he thoroughly deserves his three-set victory.